for watching. Um, I just want to show you guys here. I had a ballast that I was completely going to junk away till I opened it up and I looked inside of it right here and there was a tube fuse sitting in there and the wire was not burnt out but I seen some discoloration if you could see it right here I'm gonna zoom in on it on the right where it was discolored where it looked like something had got burnt not on that yellow thing I did that but I couldn't flip this board over because there's this black goop all over the place and you got screws all over the place so I couldn't get to the other side to try to solder it so what I did is take my soldering iron which I have here and I touched it on it and removed the tube fuse out and I wired in a car fuse and I went with a 25 amp which is more than enough for this thing and you see I drilled two little holes over here and what I first did just to test it out is I put some aluminum foil on it and I tucked it in there before I turned it on and when I had it in there the green light for this thing actually started kicking on and this thing cost about almost $150, $200 for this amp. It's a grow uh, ballast for a grow room. But what I was getting at is, if you do this and you don't have a tube fuse, you can do this because these car fuses are really easy to get your hand on from like the auto stores and whatnot. And I'm gonna use, uh, what do you call that? Electrical tape to wrap all this up and make sure that nothing gives any contact, put it back in there and I should be good to go. And if I ever wanna change one of these out, they're easy to get your hands on to replace them. This, this video is good for any kind of electronic. If you're getting no power, so you got a no power issue, you're gonna to wanna to take it apart and look for it and look for that fuse in there and once you locate it. And most fuses are usually located, you see where your power's coming into this unit right here? When you take it apart, you got your positive power and your negative and usually your fuse is somewhere on your circuit board right near there because what the device, if it's a DVD player or a TV or something like that on the main board for a TV, um, it's gonna be located very, very near this area right here because when the power goes in, this is the power has to run through here to the rest of the unit and usually that's the stopper where your fuse is. So if your fuse is right there and it blows, you're getting no power to the entire unit that you have. So this video is good to show you guys how to fix um, and replace a fuse a quick way to test it. I don't recommend you using the aluminum foil and just leaving it like that because if you do that, too much power is going in there and if your house gets hit by electricity or lightning, I'm sorry, electricity or something like that and it wants to cut off, it can't. So it could start a big fire or something. This is a great idea for just testing it and when you know it's working, remove this and rig in a fuse or go and get the same tube fuse if you want to try to find that but it doesn't help because Radio Shacks and electronic stores don't really exist anymore. You have to order it online, it'd be a long wait. But this works just as good right here. Just make sure you wrap it all up, electrical tape, where it's getting no contact. And I even burnt the uh, one of the wires there, but electrical tape will take care of that and I'll put this somewhere safe inside of the unit and put it back together. So uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up.